This strange tale begins at a campground in Benton. I was in the office there and the telephone rang and a lady on one of the sites called me and says, uh, there's a lot of people down here. So you better come, come quick. And she hung up on me. And so I went and got my truck and I uh, stopped, came back around the campground and my hard hand, he was cutting grass. He said, man, they got a bunch of people in the trunk of that car. Pretty soon, Don Dupre is following the car down this road. Dupre calls the police on his two-way. As soon as Johnny Vice with the Vinton Police Department shows up, a chase is on. Man got in pursuit of the vehicle, tried to box him in. We got on Main Street in the main business area, and we seen that he wasn't going to stop, so we backed off from him. Then uh, we was at the excess of 90 miles an hour then. We hit this curve right here on Horry Street by the Ted Lyons ballpark, and uh, that's where he lost control of his vehicle and hit this uh, six-foot hurricane fence. He continued on. After that, Vice says the car hits this utility pole, then runs into this tree. And we counted the people that's in it. There was 20 people in the vehicle. There was 15 inside the car and five inside the trunk. And there wasn't a stitch of clothes on none of them. None of them. Believe me. I mean, it was just like they was born. Group members tell police they're naked because Satan is in their clothing and God has told them to get rid of their earthly possessions. I guess you didn't have to do any strip searches. No, we didn't have to do no strip. <laughs> we could search them easy. <laughs> At least two occupants in the car are pregnant women. Ages of the people inside range from one year old to age 65. Police arrest driver Sammy Rodriguez of Floydata, Texas for reckless driving and flight from a police officer. Rodriguez's brother, Danny, is also arrested. Four ambulances transport the other 18 people to a hospital for treatment of minor injuries. Bob Allen, 7 News.